I've done quite a bit of work on the Camaro here since um, the last time I had the video going. Uh, you can kind of see from the engine compartment that I've now got the whole top side of the uh, tuned port system uh, removed from the intake manifold. You can still see the fuel rails and the injectors are there. I've got the front end of the engine cleared out. Uh, the power steering pump is still sitting there but it's loose. It's, it's, uh, I'll set it aside when it comes time to set the engine out, pull the engine out. And the air pump is still there. Um, but I think I can leave it in place and still clear things to bring, bring it out. Um, my biggest challenge probably will be it still is that if you look down in this corner uh, there are uh, uh, wiring harness bundles between the distributor and the uh, firewall or front of dash uh, section and I'm still working to clear those out because I'd like to be able to reach down in there and, um, and clean out or uh, disconnect uh, some of the bell housing bolts. Um, the car right now is elevated. I got it jacked up. Uh, I've been underneath and disconnected the exhaust and the torque converter bolts and uh, starter connections so that the underside is in pretty good shape. All the cables that I needed to get are, un are disconnected. Um, and so it's getting rather close. About all I have left are the engine mount through bolt and the bell housing bolts. So next job here is going to be to clear those uh, wiring harnesses and, um, and loosen as many of those bolts as I can so that I can set the car back, uh, take the jacks down and, uh, and lower the car so that I can get the um, uh, engine hoist, the cherry picker on it and, and lift it out. Okay, I finally got it all the way around and everything's finished and it's on the hook, ready to come out. So we're going to find out whether I left any bolts in it. Everything's been set aside, engine mounts are out, I've got the last bell housing bolts out. I should be able to put a little lift on it and it ought to be hanging on the hook. I'm sure we're going to have a whole bunch of wires tangled up, or not, you know, things to clear out, but let's see how this goes. Just a few extra comments while you're uh, watching the uh, engine being jacked. Uh, first of all, I'm doing this project uh, most of the time alone and uh, single-handed, so you're going to see this engine come out by uh, me doing it by myself. Uh, I got the bell housing bolts out all from the top, Start almost the all from the top. The, the upper bolts came um, by removing the hood and using a ratcheting uh, 916 uh, end wrench uh, with a flexible head. That thing was just golden. Uh, that got the upper bell bolts I out. I decided to come in from the side. The car is sitting on a couple of two by, I think, eight blocks on each side to elevate it just enough to get the engine hoist under the frame rails and under the catalytic converter. Um, it's pr this car is pretty close to the ground. Uh, you'll see that I'm adjusting the transmission jack in several places. I have a, a block under the pan, and as you lift the engine, you need to move the. Uh, move the transmission jack to help follow. If you've never done a Chevy, these, uh, sh these clamshell uh, mounts, uh, no, no. you need to be able to lift the engine about two inches, maybe three inches, uh, in order to clear the mounts before it can move forward. And uh, what you'll see in here is I've gotten it uh, raised high enough. Uh, you do have to watch that you don't get the transmission tight against the uh, transmission. And uh, you'll see that I'm shaking it a fair bit. The, um, I couldn't get it to come loose off the dowel pins. And what you'll see uh, with me with the load level around the engine was I finally got to the point where by changing the angle of the engine with the leveler uh, and pointing the nose of the engine up, uh, I was able to get it to the point where I could pop it off the dowel pins. Uh, it, was, it was really tough coming loose. And then, uh, and then you'll see 
in order to not crush the wiring bundles, I spent quite a bit of time. I need to pull the engine out a little ways and lift and, and so forth and, uh, and finesse it out of the engine compartment and uh, get it over that uh, right hand fender. Looks like it's clear, I just can't, uh, it doesn't seem like it wants to quite pop loose from the transmission. Well, I went through and did all the bolts. It's been very challenging. Now it's clear enough.
just a couple more comments on pulling the engine with the hoist out the side. Um, you'll see that I'm having a little bit of a challenge. The uh, legs of the engine hoist are straddling the uh, right front tire, so I've got a few inches that I can move it either way um, before it uh, bumps up against the either tire or uh, one of the wooden blocks. But I do have a little bit of room. Um, and my particular hoist, the wheels don't like to pivot very well, so it takes me a little work sometimes I have to bang on them uh, in order to point them in the right direction so that, uh, so that I can get it to swing. But uh, ultimately, uh, with a little finesse, it, it, as you're lifting this engine out, it's, um, it needs to come toward the front of the car as you come up, so I'm, I have to try to uh, gradually move it and, uh, and turn the, uh, the hoist so I can get it up and then start backing it out. point where it would sure be a lot more helpful to have uh, an extra pair of hands because as as I'm trying to lift the engine I need to, I need to pull it forward and I need to jack at the same time and um, it's hard to be in two places at once which uh, is part of the reason there's a little extra struggle on this on this part doing it, doing it alone uh, uh, causes some, some challenges ground wires. If you haven't pulled one of these before, uh, Chevy puts ground wires on the backs, on a bolt on the, that's uh, into the back of both cylinder heads. So there's a bundle on the right cylinder head and another uh, couple on the left cylinder head uh, between the head and the, and the uh, front of dash. And 
that it's a really tight squeeze and they're not real obvious so you need to be careful to get those off uh, before you start jacking the engine uh, or you can, can damage things. All I'm not wearing hard is just keep snagging on things even after they've been set aside. Grab a hold a second time. We're getting there. This place has a, a low ceiling for a portion of the garage and you can see it right there with those brackets. There was um, a wooden shelf and some lumber stored up there and I had to move that to get enough clearance for the lift arm. But now that we've got her down, I'll bring it down and, uh, and park it for the night and I'll put the engine stand together in the morning and bolt her up to the stand and we can get a look, look at what's on going on inside.